Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mission the Kitch. Today I'm going to show you how I do my brisket. First things first, I'm going to start with the rub. For me, salt and pepper. You get a good quality brisket, you don't need anything else. So for the pepper, I start with whole peppercorns. So as you can see, it's a little bit of manual labor here. And then I just fill it up with good old kosher salt, about half and half. This looks pretty good. So this is the top of the brisket. We're gonna trim it down to about a quarter of an inch of fat. So this guy's still cold. The benefit of going cold is the fat is harder, and the fat being harder, it's gonna be easier to cut through. Smaller strokes, you can see I'm not using a huge knife here. This is a Wagyu brisket. It's got a higher uh, fat content all the way throughout. That's gonna provide you that nice juicy brisket. So we're still just cutting a bunch of fat. But anything that feels particularly denser, I tend to get rid of that. We're on the bottom side. The bottom's typically leaner. This whole area is going to be the flat of the brisket. That's the traditional sliced brisket, brisket sandwich. But once you do cut through kind of that top layer, you get to this softer, more edible fat. That's what we're leaving about a quarter of an inch because it's still going to render out some and it's also going to be a nice little bite. And then also you want to give people the opportunity to choose. You can see we got about that quarter inch right there, so we're doing a good job. Typically, you're also gonna cook with the fat side up. I'm actually gonna cook with the fat side down. The fat's gonna help you insulate from the heat of the grill. I'm using a Traeger, the heat's from the bottom, so the fat's gonna go down to kinda prevent any overcooking. There's some of that hard fat I was talking about. I might trim up a little bit of that off the back end here. If you do happen to cut, you know, what you need too far into it, just put it back, it'll be all right. All right, honestly, I think that's pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply the rub. Over here, as you can tell, it's a thinner part of the meat, so you don't need quite as much seasoning. The fat can take on a little bit more salt and pepper than just the, the meat would. This is gonna be the side that's up for our particular uh, cooking process. A lot less fat, but you don't wanna over season this because I have done that before, but you have to trust that you know the meat's gonna kinda do the work for you. That looks awesome. Go to our Traeger. I'll show you how I put it on. We're doing this cook overnight. I got it set at 175. I'm gonna go on super smoke. It's got a mode to give it some extra smoke for probably four or five hours. And as we said, the fat side's going down. Put two thermometers in here. All right, so I'm gonna this in two different spots. It's going right in the point and the thickest part back here. We're gonna get our second thermometer here and we're gonna put it uh, closer to the flat. So you can see it's a little thicker over here so we're gonna go right through the middle. All right the brisket's been cooking overnight. We got our two internal temps. It's about 205 in the point which is the thickest part. It's about 201, 202 in that flat. Oh that's beautiful. That's exactly what you want to see. We got great color, great bark. So I do a double wrap. We're probably not gonna eat this for another few hours, and so it's gonna be able to hold for three to five hours out there, wrapped up in the cooler, as airtight as possible. Now, we've got some towels, so we're gonna double wrap on those. The, the thick towel size is gonna go down. And that is a wrapped brisket, fully cooked, but we're gonna hold it for a few hours. My dogs are pretty excited for brisket, just like I am. We'll see you when it's time to slice. It has been about four hours. Oh yeah. So, slicing. You want to slice against the grain, it's going to be a lot better mouthfeel. It's going to be a lot more tender when you're biting into it. So, traditional against the grain, we just keep going at that angle. We're going to even it out just a bit so when we get to the point, we're able to slice through it and get both pieces of meat. It's super moist, super tender. I mean, you can see it just flaking apart there. Go ahead, take a bite. Oh, yeah. And I love brisket. Just go down that line. It'll kind of define itself for you as you go. So, the point piece is removed here. Great for burn ends, kind of higher fat content, holds onto the sauce a little better. So I'm gonna make these in pretty good sized chunks. <laughs> That's just so good. I mean, brisket's so amazing. Still don't know what to say because it's so exciting. So I hope you guys try this at home. It's a pretty easy method. Please let me know how you guys cook your briskets. You know, I know everyone's got a little bit different method. And thanks for tuning in.